Hello guys, welcome into this new video. In this tutorial, let's take a look how we can get started with the chat GPT. Uh, this is something that is from the interfusion artificial intelligence provided by our friends from the open ai the ones who let us the dally number two now what exactly is the chat gpt guys what well, actually this is a interaction between ourselves and the computer this is some kind of a dialogue and there's some ways that this format can make it possible for the chat GPT to answer follow up questions, admit its mistakes, challenge incorrect premises, and reject inappropriate requirements. So, this is like a Google, but speaking about Google, if I type something with Google, I think that chat GPT is going to give me more information of what I'm trying to do. So, I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description so you can go right ahead and try to start with the chat GPT. In order to start here, uh, what you want to do is to sign into your OpenAI account. So if you don't have an account, you go into the sign up section. It's really, really easy to create an account. What you want to do is to enter an email. You want to choose that you're not a robot, create an account, create a passcode. And after that, it's going to be really easy. In my case, I want to choose a Microsoft account. And what I want to do is to import my passcode in order to continue. And then we are now inside the OpenAI. Once we are inside the OpenAI, we're now going to be able to start with the chat GPT. Now, I should tell you guys that this section is totally for free. You actually don't need to pay for anything. So if you find something different uh, on the chat GPT and you have like a full time access for only uh, a discount or whatever, this might be spam because this is totally for free. You want, we want to go into the chat.openai.com. So I'm going to hit into next. Now, specifically right now, chat, uh, what they'll be focusing on is to retrieve information. That's like the main reason why this works for. So how we collect data, conversations might be reviewed by our AI trainers to improve our systems. Please don't share any sensitive information in your conversation. So please guys, don't share any kind of passcode, don't share your cards, don't share even your emails. I mean, you can share your emails, but you want to uh, share like your address or something like that because everything is going to be recorded. So. I'm going to hit into next once again. We've loved your feedback. If you want to optimize uh, here your friend <laughs> on the open AI, what you want to do is to show your feedback into the Discord server. I'm going to hit into done. And this is now the great, great, great chart of the GPT. As you can see, we do have a few examples. I do have some capabilities and I do have some few limitations. Now, before we continue, I must tell you things about the limitations. So, may occasionally generate incorrect information, uh, produce harmful introduction or biased content, and limited knowledge of world and events after the 2021. So, if I, let's say I asked the chat GPD who won on the FIFA uh, Qatar, and here is my question, and here is the answer. I'm sorry, but I'm not able to browse the internet to provide information about specific matches or events as a large language model trainer in RPC. My knowledge is based on text that I have been trained on, but I don't have the ability to access real-time information and browse the web. Is there something else I might be able to help you with? If I ask the same question into Google, because Google is like the same thing, Let's go into the google.com. I'm going to just paste this and boom, we do have a lot of information here. See, we saw it's about Qatar Nation, of football team, messages, but actually this one does not uh, answer my question matched in the Qatar. So what can we actually do here into the chat GPT? I'm going to go into the new thread and here into the new thread, what I want to do is to ask something that can be helping me to organize even JavaScript. So if I go like, for example, how do I make an HTTP request in JavaScript? What's going to happen here is that the chat of the open AI is going to tell me to make this one request. You can use this specific code, this object. This is the code of the API. And here's an example that I can use for make a request on JavaScript. 
So as you can see, what happened here, this is actually insane. The application is generating me a few codes that I can use to request a HTTP. Here's an example using fetched. Both example made a GAT request to the URL. The, the response for the service, which could be the continued web page and error message is logged to the console. So I just need to copy this code, paste it wherever I want to make the requestment, or if I want to use a fetched, for example, here's another requestment. And there is, there you go. So all I'm going to get, go here is into the new thread once again. Let's try with something more easier. For example, can you tell me a dream story or let's say night a bedtime story i'm going to hit into enter and let's see what this chan has to offer to us so it says once upon a time in land far far away lived a little boy named jack so this is actually the bedtime story which i think it's really 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 great now uh what i'm going to be trying to to do in order to try to be making this a little bit more complex let's say can you make this story a little bit more longer so what happens in here is that the um the great 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 open ai section has generated me a um a chat a bit time story actually this appears to be as as a little boy named Jack, he was like an adventurous boy and he was wondering what would happen if he was filled with delicious red apples, whatever, whatever, whatever. And as you can see, here's the left part. The, this is the last part of the story. So let's say, can you make this story a little bit more longer? I'm going to hit into enter. Let's say what this, this application says to us. Now it says, sure, I can add a few more details to your story. Here's a longer version. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there lived a little boy named Jack, blah, 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 blah. So it's exactly the same story, but what I just asked it is to make this story a little bit more longer so I can, like, do it as my own. I mean, this is an artificial intelligence. This is something that wasn't ever created into a computer. So what I can do is to actually take the part where I do love this story and I can make it mine, I mean, as my own. And once again, this is totally for free. Now, what I'm going to be doing here is to go into the new thread. And here, I'm going to be showing you something that can be really, really helpful for you. Let's say, show me an example, or let's say, create a resume of a web designer. Now, here we go. To create a resume for a web designer, you will be needed to gather information about education, work experience, and skills. Start by listing your name and contact information, blah, blah. So what happens here is that uh, I do have all the elements where I can create a web designer. So we can take advantage of this great, great, great application that once again is totally for free. You guys have now have the access down below in the description so you can go right away into the chat section now um go explore that for yourself thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel guys once again um just make sure that you're using exactly the same uh website as i'm using the openar.com so thank you once again for watching the video guys and i will see you on the next one